Don't tell your mother Kiss one another Die for each other We're cool for the summer So the other day I did a video where I posted this on my YouTube channel uh, it was part of my broadcast and I ended up basically uh, talking a bit about the men's rights movement and I talked about a lot of things Anita Sarkeesian, feminism and personally what I think is the just a complete radicalization of a lot of different things now shortly bef as I was before the broadcast was uploaded and as I was in the process of editing it and I ended up stumbling across this piece of tripe. So, lo and behold, I was obviously not very happy about it. And it really struck me pretty... It, it, it struck me kind of as this really petty fucking... BS that comes out of the men's rights movement BS. Uh, and one of those things is, is that none of their, the things that they usually say are, is ever really based in any viable facts. I stated this in the previous video, but I figured I might as well repeat it. I mean, personally, in my opinion, if you are a member of the men's rights movement and claiming to be a revolutionary, I hate to burst your bubble, but you are a walking contradiction. Because you are not a revolutionary, you are part of a counter-revolutionary movement. You are a reactionary because you are a reaction to a revolutionary struggle for gender equality. Now, is that saying that all feminism is, is revolutionary? No. Because, in my opinion, there are actually many forms of feminism that are bourgeois liberal and social justice warrior types, like Anita Sarkeesian, and some forms are just... Well, equally as fascist and counter-revolutionary as the men's rights movement. and But when you look down at it, most cases of the men's rights movement are counter-revolutionary, reactionary, and fascist. But the real revolutionary struggle itself for gender equality is not really so much ingrained in the idea of feminism itself. More rather ingrained within Marxism and what Marxism holds is that women are equal and we hold them with high regard and esteem. We see that men already hold a privileged position in society and our main goal is to tear down this social construct and the positions of privilege by bringing, fi the, by bringing the fight uh, through camaraderie. So essentially women are our equals, we treat them as equals, they are held in as, uh, with the same high regard and high esteem as we do our male counterparts, our male revolutionaries, our male comrades. That being said, again, we bring the fight through revel through fighting through camaraderie. But to say that men don't have privilege or that men deserve to have some form of you know form of right, better form of rights is not really. It, it, it I'm not saying that it's necessarily a bad thing because there are things that both men and women both need to achieve, especially you know, at the hands of the ruling class itself. But men have privilege. They're in privileged positions, plain and simple. It's hard to try and deny this fact, and I would not recommend that anybody do that. If you truly believe that men are not in a position of privilege, or truly not privileged at all, and believe that women hold more power than you, then you are both delusional and a counter-revolutionary. And I really have no qualms in saying that, nor do I make any apologies for it. And I, and frankly, I don't believe you have any business calling yourself a socialist, a Marxist, a revolutionary, a communist. I don't even think that you deserve the right to even call yourself an anarchist. If you want to be a revolutionary, then follow the science of revolution and be part of it. If not, kindly exit the stage. You will find it on the right wing. I also want to know where the hell men's rights movements, uh, men's rights movement members, get the this load of tripe from. Because I would like to see the sources and the statistics, and they better be from credible sources. Because I have a hard time. For one, I have a hard time believing 
that lesbians are glorifying rape or that the idea that college campuses are encouraging false allegations of rape. I just think that's absolutely asinine, baseless, ridiculous, and frankly insulting. So all I'm saying is that when it comes on down to the whole idea, I'm not defending feminism exactly, and I'm not defending the likes of Anita Sarkeesian. And I, but I am simply stating that gender equality itself can be found within the revolutionary science, within revolution itself, and should be done through means of revolution. But the fact that there are people out there that are part of this MRM sort of reactionary BS claiming to be revolutionaries is what absolutely frosts me to no end. Because you are not part of a revolutionary struggle. You are part of a counter-revolutionary fucking movement that seeks to continuously divide us and continues to continue to drive the wedge between gender equality and you know essentially continuing on this this belief this patriarchal sort of system where women are still subservient and the problem is is that these people don't seem to believe that men are in a position of privilege and that kind of thinking is counter-revolutionary and to say that you're revolutionary by being counter-revolutionary is again a complete contradiction I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, and this has been NorCal Corner. Peace.